Hello and welcome to FX Street. Today we're going to be taking a look at AVAX and this recent crash that we've seen here. But before we actually get into the technicals, I want to direct your attention to the FX Street YouTube channel. If you enjoy the content that we put out, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on the hardest trends in the cryptocurrency market. Also, make sure to give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. So uh, back to AVAX, right? The, perhaps in the last week, uh, I wrote an article about AVAX, where on the daily time frame, I mentioned that there was a market structure break here where the price formed a higher high, giving the illusion of an uptrend, but it eventually broke through this uh, demand zone here, which extends from 77.6 to 83.35, right? So it is much clearly visible here on the four hour time frame. This breaker, uh, so when price actually flipped through this demand zone, uh, Press actually slice of this demand zone, it flipped the demand zone into a breaker. So a bearish breaker usually stipulates that any move back into the breaker is often rejected. And in my previous article, I mentioned that the target was roughly around $64.5. And that's exactly where the price retested here today on 24th Feb. Uh, but I do have to say the, the recent news uh, of Russia attacking Ukraine was probably one of the main catalysts that push this price here, this particular candle and these two candles here uh, are the main reason why the price escaped, price declined so quickly. Uh, regardless, we are currently on a stable support level here, which is the weekly support 64.59. Uh, I do believe there's gonna be some sort of an uptrend or relief rally followed by a sweep below the 64.59 level here, but collect the liquidity resting below the swing lows formed here on 31st Jan, 3rd Feb, and the recent one today, which is formed today. Either way, the, there's a triple tap setup, which does indicate or hint at bullish outlook, but I'm gonna be wary considering uh, the, the evolving nature of the, of the news that's uh, happening between Russia and Ukraine. So things are extremely volatile, so I'm gonna be cautious. For now, I'm expecting a minor uptrend, perhaps an eight, nine, probably even 10% upswing before we see a retracement, right? Uh, this is me being, conservative, but things could also continue to worsen and we get a dip below the weekly support level, which could also play out. But either way, I'm expecting a sweep of 64.59. Uh, I don't expect it to go much lower than this, at least not uh, right away, because Bitcoin has another line of support that it needs to break. Right? Without that, I don't expect it to go lower. Uh, either way, we are very close uh, for Bitcoin to hit 30K. So short to midterm, I am a little bearish. So that's my take on Avalanche. If you enjoyed this analysis, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.